Well, there's a lot can be said about patrons. I can't say enough. Appreciate the patrons very much to make the episodes of the Guy or Cook Report possible. And here's today's episode. We're going to talk about how to optimize the JPEG image and get it down to a PNG and then take that PNG further compressed with the PNG compressor that get the speed Scott. So the first thing you do, if you don't have a graphics program, this is assuming that you're going to use Canva online. First, you upload the JPEG into Canva. And it'll show up in the Uploads folder in Canva. Okay? Then you select that image and tell Canva that you want to use it in a design. Okay? And it comes up in a new window. And in the top right of that window, you'll see the download arrow. And you can choose the image to be downloaded as a PNG file type. So you download it and you keep track of where it is on your computer because you're going to need it in a minute. And then you go to a new browser tab and go to the giftofspeed.com website and they'll have a tool there under tools, png-compressor. And that's going to look like this. If you're watching the video, I've got a little screenshot of what the PNG compressor looks like. And you just click to select the PNG images. And so you select that image and the compressor does the magic of taking it from the big size to the smaller size. And there's a little download text link there. You download that optimized file in Bazinga. You've got it done. You've converted that JPEG, which is like one I did. It was two and a half megabytes in size. And I got down to 900K. That's a pretty substantial savings. And it does make your site run faster if the images are compressed. So... Uh, thank you for taking time out of your day. Sorry we got a little long-winded. It's a wrap.